And before we go, we're looking at Bhutan's big reputation as the world's first carbon negative country. The nation of nearly 800,000 people is emitting less carbon dioxide than it's offsetting from the environment today. But can Bhutan continue its focus on conservation and renewable energy in the face of growing power demands and the onslaught of climate change? Our correspondent Saksir Sasambat finds out. This is probably the side Bhutan is most known for raw, untouched nature. Large powering dams, another known feature of the kingdom. Bhutan gets its power almost entirely out of hydroelectricity. It's also a key economic driver. But most of all, it's their main source of pride for its green credentials. But all these efforts are under threat by the global challenge of climate change. Bhutan doesn't have any natural oil and gas reserves, so it relies on the rivers flowing from the Himalayan glaciers to power its homes and industry. But the country is facing an increased demand for energy, which means it needs more energy sources, and that means more investment. Bhutan is generally known as, oh, very cheap hydropower, which is pro probably not anymore. If you look at some of our older, hyd older hydro plants, of course, the cost of generation is low because there's no cost of fuel, after, but a huge capital investment. Just to give a perspective, even if you want to do hydro 10,000 megawatt in the next 10 years or 15 years, we're looking at the capital investments of $15 billion plus uh, in, in our GDP of $2.53 billion. So that's a huge investment requirements in the hydro sector. Uh, as, we, uh, as we also talk about diversifying energy. 15 years ago, the then Bhutanese government set out a target to increase the production capacity of all its hydropower to 10,000 megawatts. But by last year, it achieved only less than a quarter. Poor geological conditions at the construction sites and escalating costs have been blamed for the delays of the four planned hydro dams. Bhutan has been forced to partially import energy from India, which used to be the main recipient of its surplus power. And even when the dams come online, they will have to cope with the impact of melting glaciers that are already causing damaging floods in many parts of the country. So we are in the front line of climate change. And we, and, and, and we look at the mountains, mountains where we looked with reverence and worshipped. That's where the biggest toll is taking place. How soon will it happen in terms of our rivers no longer being sustainable and no longer be financially sustainable for a hydropower? This is in the future, but we, we've got to be mindful. And yes, we've got to diversify. We've got to diversify our, econ uh, our energy source yeah. from hydro from hydroelectricity to solar and wind and biomass. Bhutan is facing the effects of climate change head on and the nation continues to keep its energy sources renewable. But the increasing demand as it's aiming to grow its economy will be a challenging balance to strike if it wants to maintain its green credentials. Saksit Sayasombad, CNA, Timpu, Bhutan.